you're finding it difficult to ice your cake with the angled spatula, you're gonna to wanna to try the 789 cake icer tip. It's really great because it's going to help you apply an even layer of icing all over your cake, and then all you have to do is go back and smooth it with your angled spatula. When you use the cake icer tip, you don't need to crumb coat your cake because it's not going to agitate the crumbs on your surface. The turntable is gonna make it easier to apply your icing with the 789 tip. While it's possible to use a cake plate, you're not gonna probably get the results you're looking for because you're gonna have lots of stops and starts. It's tricky because you're gonna to wanna to turn the turntable quickly as you squeeze out the icing. Again, we're using thin consistency icing, which is gonna make spreading out the icing much easier. After I apply the icing using the 789 tip, I'm gonna go back and use my angled spatula to smooth out the icing. You're gonna see how cool this really is. We're gonna be using a 16 inch bag because there's gonna be a lot of icing that's gonna go in here. I'm going to prepare the bag with my 789 tip. I'm gonna just push it down to the bottom of the bag, grab my scissors, and I'm gonna mark a line that's just a little bit below the halfway mark, closer to the bottom of the tip than the top. Then I'm gonna push the tip back and I'm going to cut off the end of the bag right at my little score mark. Let's clip that off. And then you just push your tip through. So be careful that you don't cut the bag too high up. Remember, just a little bit below the halfway mark because if you do, you get all that icing in the bag and you start squeezing a lot of pressure towards the tip, the tip can just push right through, so make sure you're careful about that. I'm gonna go ahead and cuff my bag back so I can fill it. You're not gonna to wanna to overfill this. It's tempting, because it's a big bag, but no more than half full. You could either use your angled spatula or a thin silicone spatula, and I think I'm gonna use it because I'll be able to grab a, a larger dollop of icing in here. I'm probably going to have to go back and fill it again, just so you know. Squeeze it down the best that you can. Okay. I have my little no-slip mat here, and I'm going to move my cake onto the turntable. My cake is filled and all ready to go. So I'm going to twist the back of the bag. You want to remember to do this because you don't want any of the icing that ooze out of the back as, you, as you're doing this process. So I'm going to start on the top of the cake and I'm going to have the serrated side down because you don't want that to, to show. All right, I'm gonna start squeezing out my ribbon of icing. All right, I think I have the top pretty well covered. Now I'm ready to do the sides, but I think I'm gonna need some more icing, so I'm gonna show you how to refill it. I'm gonna make sure that all of the icing is down in the tip there pretty good, because I don't want any, any air bubbles, if at all possible. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this back. I'm gonna use my small spatula to open this up a little bit more. Ah, that's much better. It takes a lot of icing to cover this cake. I'm only gonna be putting one layer of icing on the cake, but you might wanna put more than one if you like a really thick icing. So when you refill your bag, you're probably gonna get some air in the bag. That is normal, and it might like burp a little bit. So what you're gonna try and do to get those air bubbles out is squeeze some of the icing out. As I start to apply the icing on the side of my cake, I might get an air bubble, and if, it, if I do, it's okay, but so we'll work around that. Again, I'm gonna have the serrated side of the tip in. Now I'm gonna start putting the layer of icing on the side of the cake, and as I apply the icing, I'm gonna be turning the turntable. 
All right, so I'm going to begin squeezing out my ribbon of icing all the way around the side of the cake. Oh, there's a little air bubble. No problem. I have to stop and move my icing down a little bit here. So now I'm going to put a, another row of icing right above that first one. You can see how the turntable is really necessary in this process because as I'm squeezing the bag, lots of pressure on the bag, I also just need to keep that moving. And if I, were not, if I didn't have the turntable, it would really be hard to do. So I think our cake is covered and we are ready to smooth out the icing. I'm going to be using my angled spatula. Clean it off a little bit here. Pull this a little closer. And I'm going to be essentially just sort of smoothing these ribbons of icing together. I'm doing a sweeping motion across the top of my cake. I'm not going to lift straight up because that is definitely going to be agitating crumbs. Unlike the angled spatula icing technique, I'm not worried about having to pick up too much icing because the icing that I've just applied to this cake is pretty much a nice even level. So I'm really not going to have to take very much off, but there's a little bit. So I'm just going to scrape that off on the side. I'm going to put my spatula on the side. and I'm going to really kind of hold it vertical. And again, one side of the, the spatula will be touching the cake and the other side is going to be slightly angled out, just like I have it here. And then all I have to do is just turn the turntable and let those ribbons of icing just actually smooth out together. And so the angle of my blade is actually just picking up the excess icing as it goes around. And if I have too much icing there, I'm just going to sweep it away and put it back in the bowl. And then I can pick up just right where I left off. Just smoothing it out. Again, I got some excess icing here. So you can see that there's a little light cake showing through right there. I'm going to put a little bit more icing on it and smooth it out. Mm. A drop of buttercream right there, which I'm going to put back in the bowl. After I patch this up just a little bit, then I'm going to do one final sweep. If you're just starting out, it's going to take a few rounds to get this nice and smooth. Keep going around with a spatula, just be careful not to take off too much icing. So after you smooth it a few times around with your angled spatula, you can see it gets pretty nice and smooth. I have a little bit of a rough edge here at the top of the cake, and I'm just going to go ahead and sweep those towards the center. If you're using buttercream as your filling for your layers, you could use the 789 tip exactly in the same way we did on the top of the cake, just piping a spiral. It's so smooth already that you'll probably barely even have to smooth it out. And that is how you use the 789 cake icer tip. <laughs>